back to How to Bake That. I'm Anna Milner, and on this episode of How to Bake That, I'm going to be teaching you how to make two ingredient donuts. Thank you for at underscore Brazil underscore on Instagram for suggesting this. They were super easy to do. So let's get into the tutorial. The ingredients that you're going to need are eight Pillsbury biscuits, any type of biscuits that you would like, some vegetable oil, a frying pan, a circle cookie cutter, or in my case, I'm just using a cap, and a plate with some paper towels on it to collect the grease. The first thing that you're going to want to do is turn on your stove to around medium and then put about an inch, half an inch of oil, and then you can begin opening up your biscuit rolls and you can let that heat while you do all the prep work for your donuts. So you wanna take your biscuits out and then I tried using my cap, but it didn't really work that well. So what I ended up doing was taking a knife and making a circle, not using any cookie cutter or anything. I just estimated it and it took a little while, but it worked really well. And you can save the middle of your biscuits for donut holes. So now you want to start your glaze and you want to prepare these before you put your donuts into the oil so that it's ready to put on top as soon as the donuts are done. So what I did was I took some cinnamon and sugar. You can use more or less. I just did about a half a cup of sugar and a few tablespoons of cinnamon and then I will actually use that for other things besides the donuts because it will be too much just for the donuts and then you're going to need a half a cup of powdered sugar a few tablespoons of milk and a few tablespoons of cocoa powder and that's it so to start off with the glaze you're going to want to put all your powdered sugar in the bowl add a tiny bit of milk and then I split half of that off and then I added all of the cocoa powder and then I was done so to test to make sure that the oil was hot enough I just took a little bit of dough and put it in the frying pan and it worked out really well and the oil was ready so I put the donuts in they took about 30 seconds on each side and same with the little donut holes and then you just want to put it on a paper plate to remove all excess oil I ended up doubling my vanilla glaze and I put both of these chocolate and vanilla onto a plate and just glazed them and I used the cinnamon and sugar and just shrek up the little donut holes and put them in and I was done. So these donuts were really good. I have one complaint and it's that you have to eat them right away. Like You have to have your family ready to eat them or for me, I ate them with my mom. But there were a few left and I had them when I got back from work and they were good but all the glaze had sunk down to the bottom but they were still good once you heated them up in the microwave for a few seconds so if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and have a nice day and i'll see you next week bye